Welcome, this is lecture 2.2, .2, Molecules Cells Are Made Of. In the Animals Unit, we're in the foundational phase as we build some background knowledge before we begin our investigation uh, in order to answer questions like how do animals move, grow, and function. All right, before we move on, a quick reminder, we've been working with this model of a molecule, a molecule that is made up of atoms. Atoms are represented here in red and black and blue and white, and they're connected by chemical bonds. Some of those are low energy bonds, some of them in yellow are high energy bonds. Remember that atoms last forever, but molecules can be rearranged. Okay, at this point in the unit, there are some things that we know already. For instance, all organisms are made of cells. All the functions of organisms are done by cells working together. All cells are made of molecules, and all molecules are made of atoms. There's some unanswered questions that we'll need to understand as we move forward. Things like, uh, what kind of molecules are cells made of? And how do those molecules move and change when cells do their functions, such as growing, moving, uh, and changing matter and energy? We'll be looking in particular at this one today. What kinds of molecules are cells made of? We'll be using nutrition labels to understand what molecule cells are made of. These are the same nutrition labels that you'd see on the package of cereal or maybe on a bag of carrots. Because we eat things like plants, animals, and decomposers, and because those organisms are made out of cells, reading nutrition labels are actually going to be able to tell us what kind of molecule cells are made out of. One special thing about the food labels we'll be looking at is that they have been adjusted so that the serving size is always 100 grams. That's going to be really helpful because anytime we see one gram of something listed on the nutrition label, that means we're looking at 1% of the materials in the food. If we see 21 grams of something, for instance in this label 21 grams of fat, that means it's going to be 21% of the food. Don't be distracted, don't pay any attention to these percent daily values over on the right hand side. These numbers just represent recommendations from your government about the different types of nutrients you should get in a healthy diet. They're not relevant to our work in understanding the molecules that cells are made out of. Okay, so what are cells made out of? Well, carbohydrates, that's one of the major components. Um, carbohydrates are things like glucose, fiber, and starch. And what atoms are in carbohydrates? Well, you can see them here, but it's also in the name. Carbohydrate comes from carbon and hydrate, meaning water. And so you have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in carbohydrates. How much carbohydrates do you have in cells? Well, we can take a look at a plant cell. We would find those in carrots. Carrots are plant roots. So let's go ahead and look at the nutrition label. You can see that there's a section for total carbohydrates, and there are 10 grams of total carbohydrates. That includes all the starches, the sugars, the fibers in that carrot root. But 10 grams out of 100 is 10%. So 10% of a plant cell, at least a plant cell in a carrot, is carbohydrates. Cells are also made of fats. Over on the right here, you'll see a fat molecule. Fat molecules are built up of smaller molecules. Uh, they're made of glycerol, and they're also made of fatty acids. Do you recognize those atoms that fats are made out of? Let's take a look at how much fat there is in cells. Here we have a nutrition label for peanuts. 50 grams out of 100 is fat, and so 50% fat in these peanut cells. And finally, the last major molecule found in cells uh, is protein. Here's a protein molecule over to the right, and protein molecules are made up of something else you might have heard of, uh, amino acids. So there are some amino acids on the left. So what atoms are proteins made out of? Well, there's some that are familiar there, but you might recognize something new. There are nitrogen atoms in proteins, as well as carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. You might not associate plants with proteins, but actually protein is found in all cells. And so we can take a look at the carrot nutrition label and see that one gram out of 100 is protein. And so approximately 1% of the carrot cells are protein. All right, to sum it up, what kind of molecules can you find in cells? Well, you're going to find organic molecules, carbohydrates, fats, proteins. So if you haven't noticed yet, cells are made out of organic molecules. Fats, carbohydrates, proteins, they're all organic. And what atoms are these organic molecules made out of? Well, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. John is actually an acronym that scientists use to remember what are the main elements of life. And these are the four most common types of atoms found in living systems. 
Cells contain other types of atoms too. Uh, one really important type of compounds found in cells are minerals. They help with all sorts of cell functions. And so they have different kinds of atoms than carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. They also have things like phosphorus, calcium, and sodium. A really important note is that these minerals make up a very small percentage of the cell. In fact, if we take a look at where they are on the nutrition label, vitamins, minerals, cholesterol, these things are measured in milligrams or thousandths of grams. And so vitamins, minerals, cholesterol always make up less than 1% of the cell mass. That's less than 1 gram out of 100. All right, there's one major component of cells we haven't looked at yet, and that is water. So if we look on the nutrition label, we can highlight all the organic molecules we've talked about so far, fats, carbohydrates, proteins. But besides those, uh, water is the main component of cells. Water isn't listed on a nutrition label, though, and so how much water is there in 100 grams of carrots? Well, we can figure it out. We can do that by adding up everything else in the cell, and what's left over is going to be water. So let's jump in. In these carrots, protein makes up 1% of the cell. We can figure that out by looking at the nutrition label and seeing protein listed as 1 gram. 1 gram out of 100 grams, 1%. Carbohydrates make up 10% of the carrot. Fat makes up 0% of the carrot. It's not actually true that there's no fat in carrots, it's just less than 1%. We can also look at the other things like cholesterol and vitamins, also less than 1%. The inorganic materials in carrots, like minerals such as sodium and iron, less than 1%. And so what's left? 89%. So about 89% of a plant root cell is water. Let's see how animal cells compare to plant cells. And so here's a nutrition label from beef. Beef is made out of animal muscle cells. We'll go through the very same process here and see that 21% of these animal cells uh, is fat, 0% carbohydrates. Remember, there are some carbohydrates, just less than 1%. Protein, 18%. We have cholesterol and vitamins, less than 1%. What about the inorganic materials in beef? Less than 1%. So what's left over? 60%. And so water makes up about 60% of an animal cell. Our discussion of what cells are made of wouldn't be complete without taking a look at energy. On a food label, you will see calories listed. Calories are a measurement of energy, and in fact, they're a measurement of the chemical energy found in cells and food. Down below, you'll see a molecule that you might find in a cell, and you can see that it has high energy bonds, CC and CH bonds, that are where the chemical energy is stored. Most of the molecules that cells are made out of have chemical energy the fats, the carbohydrates, the proteins. Which molecules do not have chemical energy? Well, the ones that are inorganic. And so that's the water, it's minerals, no high energy bonds, no chemical energy. And that's it. We'll be exploring in more detail the molecules that cells are made of. The next thing you'll do when you get to class is you'll be comparing food labels from different foods to help understand patterns you find between cells in plants and cells in animals.